Hey guys, it's the Metal Blade 5, and welcome back to another Metal Blade Fury. This time with a topic that I've always wanted to talk about because it's something that's always piqued my interest. Within The Legend of Zelda, one of the most notable things about Gandalf's design is his green skin, which always makes him stand out as other human, or rather Hylian characters across the series have natural skin colors. Upon seeing Gandalf for the very first time in my life, his skin color was the obvious thing that stood out to me, and I've always been wondering why exactly that's the case. Did he eat too many vegetables? Is he feeling nauseous? Did he suffer from a really bad sunburn? Was he blasted with a ton of gamma radiation? Is he trying to rip off the Blue Man group? Or does Nintendo think that making him green makes it more obvious that he's evil? And it doesn't have anything to do with Ganon, as in Ocarina of Time, he was already shown to be green prior to gain the ability to transform into Ganon. What further adds to this is the fact that Ganondorf is officially stated to belong to the Gerudo race, with him being the only male Gerudo born in 1,000 years, however all the other Gerudos are shown to have tan skin, not green, making Ganondorf's appearance the way it is even more confusing to understand. So as such, I did a bit of digging in the hopes to find something even trying to reach to find some explanation for Gandorf's green skin. And ultimately, I think I may have found two potential explanations which, when combined together, could give us the answer. The first explanation, which shouldn't take too long to explain, links, no pun intended, to Gandorf's origin, with him being the reincarnation of the Demon King Demise from Skyward Sword. To the demise being a demon, he obviously lacks certain human-related features, despite his humanoid appearance, most notably, again, being his skin, or rather scales, which are jet black and grey. As such, when Demise was reincarnated as Ganondorf from Demise's Rage, it's possible that Ganondorf could have retained or inherited some of Demise's demonic blood. From Ganondorf's design, you can see that he does keep some Gerudo-related genes, as his red hair matches the same hair color seen amongst the rest of the Gerudo. As such, it's possible that upon being born, Ganondorf was supposed to have tan skin like the rest of the Gerudo, but Demise's influence caused him to become somewhat of a hybrid between a Gerudo and a demon, where the two skin colors merge together to result in his dark green skin. However, this still doesn't really explain why Ganondorf's skin is specifically green, rather than just a mixture of demises and that of the Gerudo skin colors. Which is where the second explanation comes into play. Despite being Demise's reincarnation, Ganondorf didn't have any magical abilities upon being born. Instead, he was taught and trained to become a master of dark magic by the Twin Rover sisters, who just so happened to also have green skin in a shade similar to Ganondorf's. As such, what I propose here is, while being Demise's reincarnation influenced his appearance, the dark magic is what led to Ganondorf's skin becoming green. This is because if you look at other dark magic users across all the games within the Zelda timeline, they either have pale skin or an unnatural skin color. Since this appears to be a recurring trend across Zelda villains with magical abilities, it could suggest that learning dark magic comes at the cost of altering their appearance almost like a brand or curse to identify that they possess dark magic. The only Zelda villain that is a natural magic user who sort of doesn't fit into this is Zant, as his appearance was already the way it is pride against some Ganondorf's magic. However, this could be due to the fact that his appearance was already altered by the Twilight Realm, as with all the other Twilight, and because in the past the Twilight already possessed dark magic of their own, which could have done the same thing. This means that upon learning dark magic from the Twin Rover sisters, Ganondorf's appearance was altered as a result, causing his skin to effectively become tainted due to learning an evil and tabooed variant of magic in which he was branded by having his skin turn green, along with his connection to Demise potentially influencing the transformation by making him become a darker shade of green compared to the other green Zelda villains. So there's my possible explanation for why Ganondorf's skin is green. I know this wasn't very long, but it was still something that I wanted to discuss, and while I will admit that this is kind of reaching to find any sort of reason, the fact that official sources of Zelda lore and Nintendo have never even provided a hint as to why Ganondorf is green skin means that there isn't much information for me to go off of. But ultimately, to semi-copy Game Theory, this is just a theory and not fact.